Masvidal and Kobe's street brawl, Dan Hardy's potential comeback, and Patty's UFC London Fight Purse. All this and more in today's MMA rumor. Let's get to it. 1. Possible charges in Jorge Masvidal Kobe Covington fight at a Miami restaurant. Jorge Masvidal and Kobe Covington believe that 25 minutes inside the octagon just wasn't enough for them to hash out their problems and have taken their troubles to the streets of Miami. In a recent incident in South Florida, reports say that Masvidal and Kobe got into a physical altercation just outside a restaurant in Miami, Poppy's Steak Restaurant, in which not only were police called, but some people did record the footage and sent it to TMZ. The two former friends have become incredibly bitter enemies, so much so that the UFC decided to pair them up against one another in a five-round, non-title headline bout at UFC 272 earlier this month. Kobe walked away with his hand raised after 25 minutes in that fight, taking down Masvidal several times, keeping him there, and beating up on Gamebred for much of the fight. But even after that fight, both men kept jawing at each other, talking all kinds of smack, throwing out any of those theories that this whole thing was a work. This was clearly not fake, as Kobe had even thrown trash talk Masvidal's way, saying Gamebred was a deadbeat father and talking about other members of Masvidal's family. After that fight, Kobe stated that he was now king of Miami and said he banished Masvidal. Well, these words have now been taken to the street with reports saying that Masvidal hit Kobe in the eye and mouth during the altercation. Miami police are now investigating saying they could possibly charge Masvidal with battery over the incident, but so far that hasn't taken place. What are your thoughts about this whole Masvidal Kobe altercation? Let us know in the comments below. 2. Paddy Pimblick confirmed his fight purse for UFC London was $24,000. Paddy Pimblick is a star in the making and if the UFC handles him right, many say that Paddy the Batty has the potential to generate some real money for the promotion. This is evident by the fact that not only is he signed to Barstool Sports on account of his personality and mic skills, but he also garnered 1.3 million views on his Instagram page for a video of the pre-fight face-off with Kazula Vargas ahead of UFC London. Saturday came and went with Paddy submitting Rodrigo Cazula Vargas in the first round in an empathic victory for the Englishman. It was just his second fight in the UFC and he's no doubt shown that he's able to do well in the octagon. But all that for $24,000. Yup, Paddy the Batty with how much money he generates and how popular he is, especially in England, he made $12,000 to show and $12,000 to win the fight. This does not include the performance of the night bonus he received from the promotion, nor the compliance pay, nor any discretionary pay, which is usually private. And Paddy confirmed that he made this amount while on the Dave Portnoy with Eric and Co. just days after his submission victory. This is what Paddy said. Yeah, 12 and 12. Is that, that's not correct, correct? Or is that right? <laughs> no, yeah, 12 and 12, so 12 to show, 12 to win. You got $24,000 for that fight total? Yeah, and then the <sighs> bonus. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Portnoy, the founder of Barstool Sports, was flummoxed by Paddy's by purse, questioning how it could be possible with how much money he's able to bring into the organization. He's also stated it's no wonder USC President Dana White loves Paddy. But what do you think about how much Paddy made for this fight? Let us know in the comments. Before we get to our next story, Take a second to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest fight news. 3. Dan Hardy gives hint that he's in talks to fight at Eagle FC. Dan Hardy hasn't fought professionally in 10 years, yet the itch to fight hasn't gone away, and he's now looking at potentially stepping back in the cage after all these years. Hardy was once a UFC welterweight title challenger who pretty much had to retire after he was diagnosed with Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome in 2013. He's been able to stay in the sport providing color commentary for broadcast and has a successful YouTube channel where he does brilliant breakdowns and fights. But over the last year, he's been ratcheting up his training and he has hinted that he's up for fighting again, whether it be in boxing, kickboxing, or even MMA. Now, in a recent interview with the Schmo, it looks like Hardy all but confirmed he is indeed ready to get back into the cage. Hardy was coy about which organization he had been in talks with recently, but he did give a special tease to the Schmo. This is what he said in the interview. We'll see. Boxing, maybe. Kickboxing, maybe maybe MMA. We'll see. One of the events that you covered has just been in contact, in fact. So we'll see where, where that one goes. Interesting. Bare knuckle? No, 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 no. Spread my wings, you know what I mean? Of course, man. 
Of course, the Shmo knows what you're talking about, but the world doesn't know what you're talking about. I can't tell him yet. I can't tell him yet. I need to have some more conversations to see where I'm going. Ego FC is owned by former undefeated UFC lightweight champion Habib Nurmagomedov and has recently been making noise by signing former UFC fighters Kevin Lee, Diego Sanchez, Rashad Evans, and others. It's already hosted several events in Miami with some other former fighters providing commentary or announcing. Hardy, meanwhile, is hinting that there could be a chance he signs with the promotion as others like Hector Lombard, Thiago Silva, and Junior Dos Santos. But what do you think about Hardy potentially signing with and fighting at Eagle FC? And are you excited to see him back? Let us know in the comments. There's always so much going on in the fight world and we got it all here for you on MMA Rumor. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell to keep updated with all things MMA. Thanks for watching.